Hey there, friends. Welcome. My name is Dr. Nishikant Sharma, MD, and I welcome you all in my Health and Wellness YouTube channel. Today, we are going to discuss about a very important topic, how to reverse diabetes, a seven-step formula. Dear friends, as you all know about the sudden death of all-time great Australian leg spinner Shane Bourne due to a heart attack. He was on holidays in Thailand. He was only 52 years old. According to his manager, he was on a 14-day liquid diet plan. He was overweight. He wanted to shed some weight and become fit again. He used to practice such extreme liquid diet plans intermittently from past so many years. In this diet plan, you do not eat anything except liquids. However, such extreme diets can do more harm than good sometimes. Despite their effectiveness, such diet plans might not be healthy as they can produce nutritional deficiencies. Shane Vaughan's death has left his fans in a state of shock all over the world. It has also raised doubts about the effectiveness of such extreme liquid diets. Coming back to our topic, I would like to ask you a few questions. Do you want to reduce your blood sugar if you have diabetes? Do you want to lose weight if you are overweight? Do you want a better looking body? Do you want to lose weight without losing muscle mass? Do you want to lose weight without those extreme starvation diets? If the answer to any of the above questions is yes, please continue to watch this video till the end. Here we give you scientific workable ideas that will help you in achieving your desired goals. You can turn these ideas into action and implement them and get a better version of yourself. These are ideas are based on evidence-based scientific medicine. The first step in controlling high blood sugar is to increase the amount of proteins in the diet. The recommended dietary allowance to prevent deficiency for an average adult is 0.8 grams of proteins per kg body weight. For example, a person who is weighing 75 kg should consume 60 grams of proteins per day. People with diabetes should eat 15 to 20 percent of their daily calories with proteins. It can be increased to 30 to 35 percent in most of the cases. Indians tend to have more body fat than their American or European counterparts. A typical Indian diet is rich in carbohydrates and fats. It is also poor in proteins. Increasing the amount of proteins in the diet can greatly help in reducing high blood sugar in diabetes. Proteins is the single most important nutrient for weight loss and better looking body. A high protein diet boosts metabolism and reduces appetite. Now, what are the foods that are rich in protein? Egg white, steamed fish and chicken are good sources of protein. In vegetarian diet, Dal, pulses, skimmed milk, skimmed curd are good sources of proteins. Beans, lentils, chana, sprouted moong, pulses, black dal, yellow dal, tuar dal are rich in proteins. Black beans and kidney beans have all the essential amino acids. A word about whey protein. Whey protein is exceptionally healthy way to add more protein to your diet. It is a quality protein source that is absorbed and utilized efficiently by the human body. This is particularly important for athletes, bodybuilders, and those people who need to gain muscle mass and strength while losing fat. Whey protein is the protein from whey, the watery portion of milk that separates from the curds when making cheese. Soya beans are excellent sources of high quality proteins which other legumes do not have. It is a very useful for strict vegetarian diet. Plant-based proteins, soya proteins and tofu are good sources of proteins. 
tofu is consumed more in China and Japan. Meat contains more proteins than tofu or soya bean, but meat contains much more fat than tofu or soya bean. Processed meat like sausages have more fat than proteins which can be dangerous for heart and body. A word of caution, before starting high protein diet, you should consult your physician. You should also do your kidney function test. If you have any underlying kidney disease or chronic renal disease, then proteins need to be restricted. Every person is different. Every person is unique. His or her requirements should be tailor-made with consultation with his doctor. Here we conclude our first step. I'm so glad and happy that you have joined us in this episode. And thank you very much for listening to this video. In the next video, we'll continue with our journey, how to reverse diabetes. Thank you very much.